was some classic jams right there. Welcome back, everyone. This is Three's Week, round two. A uh, little short uh, this week because I missed both the volume incline and volume bench press. Um, like, barely. Both of them were like 10, 10, 9. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to show when I miss that stuff. I'm only going to show when I achieve the next level. Uh, but on that note, the uh, topic I want to discuss this week is the improvement in conditioning that seems to be occurring from all those um, you know, sets of 10 with, or sometimes it's 9, uh, with you know, very little rest in between. Uh, you know, because when I'm doing like my, you know, heavy sets of like strength squats, for example, uh, I notice I'm not breathing particularly hard after the sets, you know, and I'm like ready to go for the next one within, um, you know, two, two and a half minutes maybe. Um, so that's really cool uh, because I was thinking, you know, eventually that conditioning can then be applied to more volume kind of like what I was doing over the summer before I got deathly ill um, and do a lot more volume on the strength work uh, speaking of the summer I was looking back at my training log and noticed that uh, I was pretty much killing it you know right near the end there and um, I took note of all the uh, best lifts that I had achieved in that time frame, you know, and I'm calling them my uh, my PRs um, for now. Uh, even though they're not all time PRs necessarily, um, you know, it's probably not really fair to compare um, old grizzled dudes like myself now with uh, what they were doing when they were, you know, 20. Um, so. I'm going to be working with my most recent PRs, uh, but there may be some fun stories about uh, PRs set back in the old days uh, if I ever um, get towards those uh, weights again. Uh, I think in last week's video I, I said that I thought I had two uh, three-week cycles left before I um, uh, went on my end-of-year epic vacation. Uh, well, that was wrong. Uh, I have three weeks left, um, so uh, what I think I'm going to be doing is actually looking to be setting some new PRs and uh, not doing quite as much volume as I'm doing here. You might also recall in a video a while back, uh, I passed along some advice that was given about keeping your shirt on while bulking. Well, try and stop me. <laughs> uh, things are looking pretty good as far as the weight gains going because like I said I'm up like 11 to 12 pounds uh, I'm weighing in in like the 136 137 range um, you know after the trough which was in the 123 to 125 range uh, so I'm happy about that uh, still rocking like 3,000 and change calories a day um, if uh, you know, it hasn't yet, so I really don't expect this to happen, but I was going to say, if, you know, the weight gain starts to spiral out of control, which really isn't going to happen when you think about it, um, you know, I can cut the calories down a little bit if I need to. Um, most of the time, my maintenance calculates out to be around uh, 25 or 2,600, so I'm eating somewhere in the vicinity of 400 or so uh, surplus calories per day. Yeah, so like I said, um, I'm going to be focusing a little bit on uh, setting some uh, PRs, uh, because, especially because I'm going to be a bit pressed for time uh, getting ready for the trip, and in particular that final week before leaving, uh, I need to work like, um, I think 72 hours in six days, so it's basically like six 12-hour days uh, in a row, so there's not going to be a ton of time to uh, do a whole lot of lifting. What I'll probably do is uh, crank out my Saturday-Sunday workouts on Friday-Saturday before 
and then I go to work on Sunday, and then I only have to get in two workouts during the week uh, when I'm working all those hours. Um, so that's pretty much it for this week. Um, I'm hoping that you'll be seeing a bunch of um, PRs being set, uh, and hopefully they indicate that my strength levels are going up, you know, that they equate to, um, you know, a higher one rep max. Uh, but we'll see. Um, but I am optimistic that it's going to go well. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.